Hello, this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. The topic of this video is Leviquin tendonitis. Leviquin is an antibiotic in the fluoroquinolone class. So you have Leviquin, Levaflox, Avalox, Cipro, Ciprofloxacin, etc. There's a whole bunch of cousins inside the family of the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics. So if you have been to the hospital or you went to your doctor and you got a prescription for Leviquin, chances are you took it. And chances are if you're here now, so if you have been to the hospital or you went to your doctor and you got a prescription for Leviquin, chances are you took it. And chances are if you're here now, it's because you've taken Leviquin and you've, you're experiencing side effects. There's a few important things to know about Leviquin. And first off, if you check out the page below, there's a lot more details. There's other pages that will send you off to that will tell you more about what you need to know about Leviquin. But I'm going to summarize it here just a little bit. So first off, Leviquin, twin, Leviquin tendonitis, it's not regular tendonitis. Regular tendonitis is wear and tear, some nutritional deficiency, a little bit of wear and tear in the tissue, muscles are too tight, connective tissue is too constrictive, and that's why you have pain. But Leviquin tendonitis is an entirely different thing. Leviquin is an antibiotic, and it interacts a certain way with the body. And people either have no problem with it, or they have a problem with it. And of those people, if you're lucky, you'll, without really doing anything, you'll get better in about a year, give or take, six months, 12 months. People either get better within a year, or they don't. And the people that don't, their symptoms are worse, and they tend to last over time. And there's reasons for that. Because one of the aspects of Leviquin is that it massively depletes your body of magnesium. Magnesium is totally required for muscle function, connective tissue function, nervous system function, etc. It's a master nutrient. Magnesium is required. You've probably had the experience where you took a dose or two or three and all of a sudden you had muscle pain, you had ache, maybe muscle spasm, tendon pain, anxiety, claustrophobia, etc. Those are all magnesium deficiency symptoms. So that's something to pay attention to. And just time isn't going to help. If your body's depleted magnesium, Time isn't going to allow your body to heal because your body doesn't have what it needs and you're not getting enough from food to allow your body to start to recover. One of the other things that Leviquin does with that magnesium depletion is it kills off mitochondria in the connective tissue. Mitochondria are the power plants, the, the energy creators of the cells. So that's why you can be laying in bed, take one dose of Leviquin, wake up the next morning, and your Achilles tendon literally fell apart. It's because those cells died and the tendon had no integrity because all the cells died in it literally falls apart. So if your symptoms are less significant than that, the same thing is happening to some degree. So if you're lucky, it's just pain. If you're less lucky and your body didn't deal with it very well, then you're having some tendon damage, literal tendon damage, as the, the tendon is not getting the nutrition it needs and it doesn't have the, the functional ability to operate correctly. Especially if Leviquin affected your body so much that it's attacked the DNA in your connective tissue. In that case, Technically, you do heal, but you heal badly because the DNA is messed up. So the only way you can get out of that is to give your body so much of what it needs so it can heal as optimally as possible that it will, in essence, the good stuff will outheal the bad stuff. So if you can find something in, medical, in the medical community to help you deal with Leviquin tendonitis, great. One of the things that Carrie and I put together is a Leviquin tendonitis solution, and it lists what Leviquin does, and it lists the best options you have for allowing your body to heal back, because just time is very unlikely to do it. So for more information, check out the page below. It'll send you off to other pages as well. Leviquin, if you're suffering with Leviquin side effects, it's very important that you educate yourself and start to do everything you can to help your body heal. Good luck.